Hi Capricorn, it is CJ here from CJ Soul Messages. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope you're doing really, really well. First of all, I just want you to know that um, my webcam busted, broke down, whatever, quit. <laughs> so I am having to use my laptop camera, which is pretty bad. Um, I'm not technical savvy whatsoever. So if you happen to know of a good webcam to use, um, drop me a note below, let me know because um, I really would appreciate that. But in the meantime, I'm using my laptop. So that means sound quality is probably going to be crap. Uh, visually going to be shit. Um, but the message is still going to get out. <laughs> so um, this reading is going to be a weekly read. It's going to be from November 19th until the 25th of 2021. Uh, we also have a full moon um, in Taurus on the 19th, as well as a partial lunar eclipse on the 19th. So I think the energy is going to be quite interesting for the next week or so. So let's just start and get into this. Um, it's a general read, non-gender specific, as well as, you know, um, place it where it may fit in your life if it does. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, one card for our gorgeous Capricorns. Beautiful earth element. Let's get one card out of the Moonology deck. Okay, so Spirit says, be bold and make the first move. Hmm. Make the first move, Capricorn. So for some of you guys, maybe this is a better relationship. Maybe there's someone that you're interested in that you got your eye on. And so Spirit is saying, make the first move. For others, Maybe this is about, you know, wanting to find a different career path or wanting to go after a, a, some kind of a position that you really want. You got to make the first move. It does feel very much like making that first move is going to really actually change things quite rapidly for you. Um, so put that energy in and put that effort in and kind of be like the fool and jump off the cliff and trust that you are going to land beautifully and safely and acquire all the things that you are hoping to bring into your world. I love it. It's a really nice energy. So let's get into the tarot. Let's start with the fountain deck. We are going to pull three cards for you. One is going to represent your past, recent or could be 20 years ago. I mean, past is a past, so fit it if it fits. Um, and then I'm going to pull another card that's going to represent the present and another card that will represent the future or the possible outcome in the future. We all have free will, so if you don't like it, the, the outcome, you can change it. No biggie. All right. Yep. No, nope, that was it. Three times. Thank you. All right. First one. We have the seven of wands as your past. Okay. Wow. We've got the fountain as a present. Oof. That's some beautiful energy coming out for you, Capricorn. Oh my gosh. And then for your future, we got the queen of coins. Mm-hmm. Ching, ching. Money coming in. Wow. Bottom of the deck, we have the eight of wands. This is all happening real fast. And I know it's only a weekly read, but the spirit is saying this is all going to come in real fast for you. Wow. Okay. Let's just get going here. So somewhere in your past, you have the seven of wands. Now, wands is a fire element, so that is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. If that, you know, maybe you have that in your chart, maybe you're dealing with someone that is a fire sign. doesn't have to be. But anyways, seven of wands is about movement, um, really moving quite fast. Wands is our passions, our drives, our creations, our creativity, our innovations, our business, our careers, our, you know, the things that are... Um, that we do, physically do, right? Um, and it is really what, what, what we want to, where we want to go. Like it's the actual movement of going from a, one place to another. So this is a seven <clears throat> and the seven of wands is really moving quite quickly. You're making a lot of progress here or you were making a lot of progress. But there's still something here that feels a little defensive, a little bit on edge. If you can see, I'll try and hold this up as close as I can for you. Uh, hopefully you can, you can see that. 
like he's moving quite fast, but there's a lot of wands that kind of are coming towards him. Now they're not touching him, but he does feel a little bit defensive here. So it's almost that energy here where it kind of feels as if you are moving forward in something that you, uh, that, that is either your career or your studies, or it could be a relationship. Um, we don't have cups here, but it could be. Um, and there's movement happening, but there's something still that you're not trusting. There's something that you are um, feeling like you maybe need to kind of protect yourself. And that could be competition. You know, it could be, there could be people um, or a person that maybe has, is a bit jealous, maybe a bit envious of you. And they might be trying to kind of knock you off your center, knock you off your path. Um, because that is what the Seven of Wands can represent. It can really represent others being very envious of who you are, or what you have, your skills, your, your beautiful gifts, all of those things, and they don't want to see you succeed. So that is the energy I'm picking up from somewhere in your past. Now, interesting though, because as we move into the present energy, you have the fountain. Now, this is the fountain deck. This card is only in the fountain deck that I'm aware of, um, but it is a sign of infinity. The fountain is like a little, like it's like a higher step up from the star. The fountain is reminding you that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. This is the reconnection or the reminder of the connection with the consciousness, um, with everything that lives, breathes here on this earth and outside of this earth, everything that exists in the universe, really. But it is the higher power. It is the higher wisdom. Uh, and it is reminding you here that you are exactly on the right path of where you should be and to trust in that and trust in yourself. Continue, continue trusting in yourself. And if there's something that you are needing to shake up, if there's something that you are needing to be bold about and make that first move, do it because you have like the ultimate protection around you with the fountain showing up. It's a promise that you are going to be absolutely beautifully living your life with purpose. Uh, and it is the right purpose. It's the purpose that you set out to um, get to when you decided to come here to this planet. <laughs> so, Beautiful, powerful energy, much protection around you, much guidance. Know that if you believe in angels, whatever you believe in, uh, that is around you and supporting you through this. Um, if anyone is trying to knock you off your perch, knock you off of your path, they are not going to have a chance. You, As long as you just stay centered and focused on what it is that you're wanting to achieve here. Uh, next step is what is the possible outcome it is the queen of coins beautiful now coins is our earth element as you are capricorn and this is our money and this is our wealth our tangible things it's also your self-confidence she is the queen so and again non-gender specific right but she is a queen she is confident she has grace she is proud of herself, not arrogantly, but just confidently proud, that beautiful energy, nurturing. She takes care of herself. She takes care of the people that she loves um, and that love her back. She has money and she doesn't have to worry about, you know, not having any. She's very self-reliant and capable. So... This is what is coming out from spirit for your future position. That's going to be you. Love this. And then under the deck, you have the eight of wands. And eight of wands is very fast movement. This means that whatever stage you're at here, becoming the queen of coins is going to be coming in quicker for you than you could probably even imagine. Um, maybe you're trying out for another job. Maybe you're starting a business. It's going to be very successful here. <clears throat> the main thing to remember is, is that you are in power of yourself and 
No one can take that away from you, even if they try. They can't take it away from you. So Capricorn, you might even be receiving a message that says, you know, something very positive, like you've you got this you've got this job. Um, you, you've you got all these clients that are signing up for your product or your service that you provide. Um, you know, something like that. But it comes in really fast. It's very focused and it moves swiftly. Under the Eight of Wands is the Ace of Wands. So here we go. This is that brand new start. Aces are all the potential of a brand new beautiful beginning. The Ace of Wands for me is a yes card. So if there's something that you're wanting to go after here, which I do suspect there is, <clears throat> because we have that be bold and make the first move showing up, well, Spirit is saying, yes, go for it. Go for it. It's all going to be so wonderful and beautiful for you. This is a really positive read. you got like quite a bit of wands here. So there's something here that you're very passionate about um, and that you really want to achieve. And Capricorn, it looks like you are going to be achieving it very soon. So let's pull a few clarifiers. We'll just see if there's anything else that wants to come out for you. But this is looking good. Really good. Well, I like it. All right, Spirit. Do we have anything else for our Capricorns for November 19th to the 25th? All right, we're ready. Eight of Pentacles. Keep on working. Eight of Pentacles is all about putting in that work. You know, don't quit. Don't give up. Be brave. Make that first move. And then really put your focus in, just like the Eight of Wands here. Putting that focus in and really not taking no for an answer. So, gorgeous. Love it. Four of Cups is showing up. This is a reminder to not get bored with it. Not to feel stuck <clears throat> not to allow yourself to have self-doubt remember the fountains here the fountains here pushing you forward um like really supporting you in this movement that you are making or that you are going to be make the four of cups is just that you know i'm not sure should i be doing this is this the wrong thing no it's not the wrong thing it is absolutely the right thing the only wrong thing here would be to give up you know, to stop, to not push yourself forward. And there you go. You got the queen, <laughs> you got the king of wands. So you have the queen of wands, no, sorry, you have the queen of coins and the king of wands. So here we go. You keep pushing forward. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in this kind of mm, board. If you look at her, she just kind of, she looks kind of unsatisfied. She's like, I'm not sure what to do now, you know. What's next? Mm, not a lot of not a lot of energy here. That's what they're saying. Don't do that. You be this person. Be this person. Diligently putting in the effort and the work. And um, man, can I get this clear for you? Uh, there we go. And you know, you, because you, that's the eight of coins. That means you are only two coins away from the ten, and the ten is like the best of the best. So. Keep putting in that work. Don't allow any kind of... Uh, okay, so this just came in. If anyone's been kind of trying, like, that you sense is a little envious of you and they're, they they kind of want to keep you stuck, um, they might try and... and They might try and bring this energy out in you, the Four of Cups. You know, sometimes people can just say words and or keep suggesting different things that then makes you kind of feel like you almost can kind of start to believe them. Don't do that. Just be aware of that. That's what spirit wants you to know is be aware of that and don't give any power of your power away to anyone that is trying to do that. You'll see it and you'll sense it. So close that down because you have the king of wands that is um, last card that's come out now. Now this is beautiful because this is all that determination, all that hard work, that you've put in you are now the king that determination is completely paid off he is very confident he is self-assured and he believes in him, himself and his purpose whatever that is for you um and he doesn't give a shit that there's a line standing behind here because he's he knows how confident he is and he knows how um what's the word how competent how competent he is 
Uh, and this, this card also can rep re represent, um, like being an entrepreneur. So maybe you're starting up something. Maybe you've started up a business. Um, doesn't have to be. Maybe it's even just a hobby or something like that, but that is going to be turned into making some kind of money because I do sense that you are going to be getting some money through whatever this is that you're putting your focus on. Um, and underneath that is the hangman. So that is just making sure you are seeing everything from different points, different views, you know, different perspectives, making sure you're like really kind of looking everything over so that you aren't missing anything. And underneath that is the high priestess reminding you to use your intuition, Capricorn, and trusting it. And underneath that, you got the emperor. So emperor is kind of quite like the king of wands, but higher up because the emperor rules his kingdom. He takes care of everything and he doesn't really stress about it because he's got everything in control. He's got his plan and he is power. He is complete power. But again, I just want to keep saying graceful power. You know, he's not some arrogant asshole. He's great. He's graceful in his power and in his control. And he takes care of everything. Um, but he also sees everything and he doesn't take um, bullshit like someone maybe being envious, trying to set you up to fail. He, he would never fall for that. And so they are saying, don't, don't you won't either. And just to further it down, the magician, magician is underneath of the, em the emperor. So you have all capability here to really manifest this, this dream, this job, this relationship, um, whatever that is, you have all you need to bring it into your world in the 3D realm. So it's beautiful. I love it. Just don't forget to be bold and make that first move. What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose. Make that first move and um, stand in your power and things are going to really come to you that you're wanting to bring into your world. You have such divine protection and guidance here. So Capricorn, let's close this reading off. We'll get one card from the Treasures of Takashi. Thank you. Oh, wow. Just like that. Transformation. Mmm. Cool. Very nice. Thank you. Transformation has come out. So Capricorn, maybe this is hinting to some of you. Like it's not obviously going to be all of you guys. But for some Capricorns out there, maybe you haven't been, um, you know, maybe you've just been diligently working away and you just kind of, you know, you don't, you're, you don't, you're not like out there. You don't push yourself out there. Maybe you kind of keep yourself a little more reserved, which is gorgeous in its own way. But spirit is saying, be bold and make that first move. Um, and so with transformation coming out is, yeah, maybe you've kind of been more, you know, if you're in class, do you, you know, when I was in class or whatever, you know, when you didn't want a lot of attention, you kind of wouldn't, you kind of pick the back of the row, the back of the seat, because you're kind of, even if you knew everything that was going on, maybe you just, you didn't always want to put your hand up or whatever. <clears throat> this is about you sitting in the front of the row, and every time there's a question asked and you know the answer, you put your hand up and you own it. That's what this reading is about. And with that, then you then get all these beautiful things coming into, coming towards you and into your life. So transformation. Transformation is a gradual process. Look back and see how many changes have occurred and thank yourself for all the steps you have taken. Now, be, maybe, now may be time for a giant leap of faith. Didn't I say that? Kind of like take the leap, be the fool. I did say that at the beginning. Mm. So now may be a time for a giant leap of faith or you may be ready for a journey into the unknown. Let go of the past, be free to move on. Renewal of strength and revitalization is upon you. Call upon your heart energy to see you through your transformation. So Capricorn, there's what I have for you. You're obviously going through some transformation and it is one that is beautiful. And um, I feel it is going to really kind of change you. It, it, you're into, like, you are really becoming into a flower. You know, you're blooming, you're blossoming. So go for it. Take that move and um, be bold with it. Show the world your beautiful self. So Capricorn, that's all I have for you for this reading. I do wish you a beautiful week. Please remember to leave me a like, a subscribe. Let me, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonated with you. I'd love to hear from you. Um, yeah, with that, it's um, all about 
keeping good karma going around here. So it also reminds me, if you leave me a comment, um, it lets me know that I'm doing good work here too. So, and that is a really beautiful gift to receive from you as well. So with that, all my love, I wish you a gorgeous week. Just get out there and be bold. Take care.